Okay, welcome back. We're talking about the ways that people help animals. We're reading about it, and we're seeing many, many different examples of this. Also, let's continue reading. Here we see some people help wild animals in other ways. In other ways, so we read about how animals are hurt. You're right. Animal doctors take care of them. We saw how some animals are.、Uh, They don't have mothers or fathers. They have no parents, so other people take care of them. But there are other ways that we can help animals. That some people can help animals. They clean them. They clean them.、And、we saw examples of that, by the way. We saw people washing the bird, and we saw the man carrying the seal. Probably he was going to clean the seal, right? So they clean animals. They set them free. Set them free. What does that mean? Well, sometimes wild animals are kept in cages, or they're kept in not very good conditions by mean or cruel people, right? And in some cases, you can get the police, or you can get people to help them set those animals free, to let them go in the wild where they belong. Okay, so they set those animals free. Sometimes they take them, take them. To a new home. Remember the koala that was rescued from a fire. The koala's home is gone; it's all burned. So those people have to take the koala to a new home, a new area. Okay. In this case, this boy is setting a bird free. So this boy has a bird, right? Looks like the bird is not afraid, right? Maybe they were caring for the bird for a long time, feeding it. Uh, making it get healthy, maybe it was sick or injured, or hurt, and they help the bird. Now it's healthy; it's ready to go away. So this boy is going to set the bird free. He's going to let it go back to nature because now the bird can take care of itself. It can take care of itself. Here are two more examples. Lots of examples in this book. Let's see here first. Here we see people washing a bird. Remember what I talked about before? I said, unfortunately, sometimes there's an oil spill. Oil gets in the water. It gets on the beach. It gets on the animals, and they have to wash the animals. In this case, the bird was caught. This bird was caught in an oil spill when a big boat was going along, and it had an accident. It broke, and the oil came out of the boat. And into nature, people are cleaning its feathers because if the oil is on the bird's feathers, the bird can't fly. Sometimes the bird can't move; it's too heavy because the oil sticks to the feathers. Right? That's very bad for the bird. So they clean the bird so that the bird can be healthy again and the bird can fly again. In this case, here's a man here, and look at these little guys here, right? These are not chimpanzees; they're another type of、uh, animal that's very similar to chimpanzees, and again, also similar to human beings, right? But these are not chimpanzees; these are called orangutans. 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 These young orangutans are moving to a safer home. So this man is taking these orangutans to a safer home. Maybe they were in a place that was dangerous, right? Maybe it was too close to a town, or maybe there were other wild animals, dangerous animals, or maybe there were people with guns who would hurt these、uh, orangutans, and that's too bad. But this man is going to help save these orangutans. Give them, move them to a safer home, and these are many different ways that people help animals. Okay. Finally, we have a little bit more text here. We see a picture here. Here's a man, and he's helping. Remember what kind of animals these are? Do you remember? We talked about this. There's two ways that you can call them. One way is the long way is chimpanzee, and the short way, chimp or chimps. There are many chimps in this picture. Right, and it looks like this man has some food, and of course they're very interested in the food that this man has. People make safe places for wild animals. Safe places, a safe home. Animals rest and eat at these places. They grow strong. So this is very good. 
right? They're, the animals need a safe place to live. At that place, they can rest and they can eat. And when they rest and they eat, they can grow strong. There are people everywhere who like to help animals. In every country, in every place, there are people who like to help animals. Are you that type of person? Do you want to help animals? Maybe you can get a job when you're older helping animals. You can become an animal doctor. You could become a trainer. You could even do a lot of different things. You could become a photographer or a writer and let other people know about how special these animals are, right? You could become a scientist and study these animals in their homes and also study how to help these animals. That's an important thing to do. In this box here, we can see these chimps are hanging out for a meal. Hang out is a good expression. To hang out, of course, you know, to hang means to hang from a tree, but we hang out. People hang out all the time. When you go meet your friends and you're just talking to your friends, maybe you're talking uh, uh, at school or you're talking uh, at your home or near your home or in a park, you're not doing anything special, just kind of spending time and talking with your friends. You're hanging out. You're hanging out. These chimps are hanging out for a meal. Means they're just kind of waiting. They're not talking, of course, to each other, but they do communicate, but not like we do. But they're just hanging out. They're waiting for somebody to give them food. They're hanging out for a meal. So a good expression. Okay, here's another example, our last example of people helping animals. And this is an interesting place. Look at this place. There are elephants, baby elephants, right? And there are also... There's also a rhinoceros or rhino here, and then another kind of animal over here looks like maybe a, a warthog, uh, a warthog, which was in the movie The Lion King, remember? Behind the rhinoceros. So there's many different animals here, and it looks like it's in Africa. These are African animals. These young elephants live in an animal park, and that's important, especially in a... In a uh, place like Africa, unfortunately, there are people who will hunt these animals for parts of them. And of course, when they get older, they have the tusk, right? And those, that's ivory. And some people will hunt the rhinoceros for, just for the horn. It's terrible, really terrible. So what they do is they make an animal park. This is an area that these animals are protected. No hunters can come here. And these men care for the animals and maybe uh, this guy here is looking out and making sure that no hunters come and that's a very important thing to do of course like I said before we have to help we have to work to protect these animals animals need our help right because there's many dangerous things in the world they might get hurt they might lose their parents there might be a fire other bad people might hurt animals so we have to protect these animals from harm Okay, this is our index. We looked at a lot of different types of animals. So if you want to remember what the animals are, if you want to see a picture of the animal, you can find where that information is very quickly with an index. We have birds are on page 8 and 9. Chimps are on page 5 and 10. We saw two different pictures of chimps. We saw pictures of elephants on pages 7 and page 11. We saw koalas on page 5, lemurs, well a lemur was on page 6, orangutans were on page 9, sea turtle, a sea turtle was on page 4, and squirrels are on page 7. Okay, These are all just different examples of animals that people help. And like I said, think about it. What do you want to do when you grow up? What kind of job do you want to have? Do you want to help animals? There are lots of different jobs you can have where you can help animals. So that's a good thing to do, good thing to think about. So think about that, and we'll see you in the next lesson. Take care.